Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Omega Nerd here, and today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to pack a punch, or how to unlock pack a punch, on the uh, new zombies map, uh, Dead of the Night. Um, so in these, we have several steps. Um, so uh, the, the steps are gonna be to uh, activate the artifact, activate the three stones, obtain the three tuning forks, and then clear the uh, barricade. So without any further ado, let's begin. So um, like I said at the very beginning, uh, the first step into this uh, is going to be to activate the um, uh, artifact. And uh, that will allow us to get to uh, many of the places around the map that we need to get to. Alrighty, now once the artifact has been, once you have uh, activated the artifact, there are three uh, vases that we will need to uh, to break open. One is going to be down in the uh, wine cellar, uh, the other one is going to be in the master bedroom, and then the other one is going to be in the library and or study hall, or the study uh, room above the library. Now in the wine cellar there are th two or three uh, vases in there that you can break. Just look for the one that has um, like a sort of like a blue glowing thing uh, coming out of it and just shoot it. Uh, you will need to kill, I think, about either three or four zombies. And then um, once uh, you have enough, once it has enough zombie souls and it's activated, you'll know because you'll stop seeing um, blue smoke go towards it. You will then be prompted with a uh, interaction button, which is, uh, and, um, once you uh, use the interaction button on it, uh, you'll be greeted with this like vision type thing that you can see, and it will show you uh, one out of the three items that you will need to uh, get the tuning fork from. So then the next uh, vase uh, that you'll need to break will either be in the uh, master bedroom, right in front of the bed, or the uh, bedroom hallway, or the uh, little hallway room thing right in front of the uh, master bedroom and again just look for the vase that is like has the glowing stuff coming out of it and shoot it melee it and then uh, collect three or four zombie souls and then once it's uh, activated and fully charged then go up to it hit the square button and um, uh, see the item from the vision now the next one is going to be in the uh, study uh, in the study which is above the library and that one is either on the table right in the center of the room or it's in one of the two vases in the library underneath the study and again same thing like the other two just look for the vase that has the glowing stuff coming out of it shoot it or melee it get the zombie souls and then um, hit the interaction button and uh, look at the vision or the yeah Okay, so now this is where it becomes complicated because out of the three uh, items where you can get, um, there'll be three items in total where you can get the tuning fork from, but there are seven items in total that you could possibly see in the vision. So this is where it becomes a little more complicated because uh, it's random throughout the game. Each game, it's not the same item every game every game it changes so that's why it's a little more complicated so the first item in my game was uh, a clock and i think it was a grandfather clock so you basically walk up to there are three clocks around the map um the one for me happened to be in the uh billiards room and so you simply just walk up to uh one of the clocks and uh if the hand on it is going nuts simply walk up to it hit the interaction button and then you will be prompted um, and then you'll be prompted to stay inside of this uh, blue clock that's on the floor and you'll have to stay in it and occasionally you'll have to shoot these uh, blue smoky type zombies uh, they're like no more zombies but they have like this blue smoke around them um, and you'll have to kill them because they're faster and they want to kill the shit out of you so you just you know kill those along with the normal zombies that are coming at you and um, after a while it will go away and then you'll be 
prompted to collect the uh, tuning fork from Matt and the Clock. Now the next clock is going to be in the uh, dining room. Uh, and simply, again, just like the first clock, if the hands on it are going nuts, simply just walk up to it, hit the, hit the interaction button, and again, there'll be a big clock on the floor. Just simply stand in it, kill the zombies, and then after a while, it will grant you the tuning fork from the clock. So now the next one is going to be in the main hall, and it's going to be before you get to the doors that lead you to the forest area. Uh, and again, simply just um, look and see if the hands are on it or spinning like nuts. Then simply walk up to it, hit um, the interaction button, and uh, kill the zombies in the circle. And then uh, you'll be able to grab the tuning fork after a while. And those are the uh, three possible clocks that you could get from the vision. So now if you happen to see a doll, a creepy ass looking doll, uh, simply uh, go to the um, like ballroom type thing. It's literally behind the artifact. Uh, the room is behind where you collect the, or activate the artifact. And the doll will be right here on your left on this little table here. And so simply again just um, hit the interaction button. And this time instead of a clock being on the floor, you'll have to escort a ghost. And it's pretty simple, just follow it around the map uh, until it gets to where it needs to go. And then once it gets to where it needs to go, it will disappear and grant you with a tuning fork. Now the next, uh, now these are uh, the paintings. I think there's like three paintings in total. Um, so if you happen to get this one that has like a scratch over uh, the, the, the girl, uh, just simply go to the music room and hold uh, the interaction button. And again, this one will also be a escorting a ghost mission. Um, and again, just escort the ghost. This one takes you into the garden. Um, and again, just simply just follow it to where it needs to go. And then once it gets to where it needs to go, it'll grant you with a tuning fork. Uh, this next painting is going to be in the smoking room. It's gonna be this painting right here with the man and the girl. And uh, simply again, just walk up to it. Uh, hit the interaction button. It will be another ghost uh, escorting mission. And uh, once ag again, once it gets to where it needs to go, uh, it will grant you with the tuning fork. Now this one is the uh, another. Uh, this is the I think the last painting. Uh, and this one's in the east gallery. And again, this is going to be another escort ghost mission. So just again, just like the previous ones. Uh, just follow it till it gets where it needs to go and it will grant you with a tuning fork. I would like to mention something though. Um, you will have to be near it in order for it to move because if you're not near it, it stops moving. So it's not like one of those things where you could just meet it at its destination, kind of like uh, in Dear Eisendrock with the wolf for the wolf bow, where you could just meet it at where it's going. This one you have to follow the ghost because it will not move unless you are right there with it. But anyways, moving forward. So the next item that you can see from the vision is this rope. If you see the rope, simply just go down to the wine cellar and on this chair here by the table, there'll be a rope hanging off of it. And again, just hold the interaction button and you will see, guess what? Another fucking ghost. And you'll have to escort that motherfucking ghost to wherever it needs to go. And then you'll get the uh, tuning fork. Now this one, um, if you uh, see a scroll, uh, simply just go to the study and where this little hallway that leads to the cemetery uh, just simply clear that barricade and directly after clearing the barricade uh, there'll be a, like a shelf to your left um, and you can just walk up to it and hold the interaction button and uh, you'll it'll pop out um, the uh, fork now this one if you happen to see um, like one of the statues, like Odin, uh, Danu, uh, Zeus, or Ra, just simply go to one of those uh, statues. Uh, Ra is, um, I believe, in the cemetery. Danu is in that room with the creepy ass doll right behind the artifact. Uh, Odin is in the uh, garden area, and Zeus is in the wine cellar. Uh, so it's just simply whichever one it shows you. 
uh, just go to that location and you'll basically have to stay in that area and during that time uh, you'll see these bats that will drop either these ghoul or vampire looking freaky white dudes um, they're freaky as fuck um, and they're fast as hell um, and so just shoot as many of them as you can and after a while um, uh, one of them will uh, drop the, uh, the fork for you. Now at this point you guys should have all three tuning forks so just simply make your way to the main hall uh, where the doors to the forest are and simply go out into the forest and this um, like black and red um, like uh, I can't think of the name but it's just uh, basically this little barricade thing over here just simply hold it go up to it use the hold the square button to use the tuning forks and it will basically clear out the debris and then you can move forward uh, and in that area in the forest area the pack-a-punch will be there and um, you'll have to be pretty quick about pack-a-punching your gun because there's this uh, werewolf fucker dude and uh, he uh, will literally chase your butt around the map and uh, so it doesn't matter if you pack a punch your gun then leave the pack a punch area now he will follow you so just simply pack a punch your gun quickly get out and uh, kill him before he uh, kills you he's uh, really tough so but other than that guys uh, this video helped you guys out uh, leave a like subscribe share with your friends and I will catch you guys in the next one Ting tang, wanna wanna bang bang, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, ting tang, wanna wanna.